Okay, I thought let's have uh, one or two live commentary games today. So Dupont, uh, let's play in French with the fans, I think. Um, uh, six line. Aha, uh -huh. only Queen G4. Alright, let's go here. It's going to cancel. Right, just trying to undermine the centre. Mind you, knight d5, I don't know. Is that dangerous? It's going to lose e5. Is h5 worth trying to put the queen in a less dangerous uh, place here? Or does knight takes e5 mean? Hmm. Right, f6, bishop d6. Guess I'm weakening myself a bit. Oops, queen g7. There's knight d3 check, bishop f4. Hmm, I'm rook f8. That really wasn't what I was uh, planning for. Let's go for it anyway. Mind you, g6 is a bit weak. Let's queen c7, bishop g6. Oh, let's protect this rook. Great. Uh, okay, I have to protect the rook. This isn't good. And then queen c7 if I get a chance. So bishop g6, king d8. I just did, did that to just protect this rook and queen f8. Uh, queen c7. Um, what about a6 first? Um, bishop g6, king d8. I'm going to have to try and evict queen. Alright. Um, a6, I think mean, it's becoming important. Stop knight b5. A little bit of a rocky game. Mm. B5, bishop b7. Bishop d7, king c8, b8 to a7. Could try that. That's one way of connecting the ropes. Hmm. I did get that dark squared bishop. Well, he's got a past h pawn, which I doubt he's going to try and use somehow. I think he's more interested in my king safety. So, white's a pawn up. Got a bit more central control, maybe. Oh, he's going to use his pawn. He knight d4 as well. I have to connect these rooks. Once I connect them, I'll be able to defend h8 easier. Play rook h8. <coughs> so king h8. Okay. B6 there. Bishop c5. We have 95. Oh, rook c8, 95. I think rook c8. Let's try and get on this. Okay. He's not really threatening rook h8 at the moment. Is he? <laughs> so I'm hitting that bishop. And uh, if he takes, maybe he takes. Big centre. Oh, bishop e5. Bishop e5. We chase back, maybe. I like this. In big centre with e4. Bishop e5 then. e4, rook f3. Mind you, e4, knight takes e4. No, no, that's alright. e4 might be playable. So rook f3 takes c3, or well, bishop e5 actually protects h8. c3, bishop e5. That looks neat. Rook f3 followed by bishop e5. Hmm. Maybe bishop e5 first. 
Oh, okay. Is it worth taking? There's a free pawn. Uh, then maybe bishop c5 and f2. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it's got a grip. Play bishop c5 and f2. Bishop g3. Bishop f4. Bishop g3 and f4. Hmm. So. Okay, I could just. Just gobble. So Bishop f4 skewing. Hmm. It's a good turn around after connecting the rooks, I think. Uh, so rook moves Bishop f4. Okay, fun starts. Okay, he's on h8, good. If I just... Hmm... I could blockade. I don't want to lose d5 if I e5. I do there's bishop e5 here. Well, I'm just bishop e5. Maybe I'm threatening bishop c3. Just rook h8, I don't need to without h8, queening. Rook h8, or d4, doesn't d4 just win a piece? So I'm still eyeing h8, just winning a piece. Get onto his king position. Yeah, he's just resigned. So, um, yeah, just typical wild French defence game, but I, I didn't, I just blundered with this move. I didn't really intend knight d3, losing g7. So when it's got a running h pawn, I've got king safety issues. Uh, he wanted to, uh, I don't know if, how difficult it is to break this position though. Maybe it's easy. But it doesn't, I don't know, I can't see anything here. So connecting the rooks, I've got the central pressure. Okay, he's used his h pawn, but it didn't turn out to be that dangerous. So I avoided uh, bishop c1 h8, so I just played bishop e5, which is one apiece. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.